Let's learn how to add the wind to our animations to make it feel more natural and appealing. I already have a wind tutorial linked in the description, but thanks to this comment by CLEP3D, I found an easier method, and that method is using the wave modifier on leaves and grass. The best thing about using the wave modifier on leaves and grass, rather than the previous method that I showed you, is that this runs a lot faster, and it's going to allow you to make changes in real time, and it's also going to allow you to render your animations a lot faster. So let's begin. Also, before we begin, if you want to direct message me and see more content from me, then you can follow my personal Instagram page. You can join my Discord server, where we have a nice growing community, and we help each other out and share our work in progress. If you want to support the channel and also download and use some of my Blender files, like the walk cycles, run cycles, water shader, enderman particle effects, and much more, then you can join my Patreon for $1 a month and download whatever you see there and use them in your own animations and in the process support the channel. All the links will be in the description. Now let's continue with the video. So obviously the first thing you need to do is import the world and if you don't know how to do that I already have a beginner tutorial series and I will leave a link in the description. I explain how to import the worlds in part 2 and how to customize them and whatnot. So first thing I'm going to do is select the leaf for example the oak leaves and what I'm going to do is go to the modifiers tab, which is this wrench icon, click on add modifier, and then click on search. And let's search for the wave modifier. If you're using the modifier menu in older versions, for example, Blender 3, then this menu might look a bit different, but you can find the wave modifier there as well. So after we added the wave modifier, we're going to see that it kind of works, but it works in a weird way. So if I zoom out, you can see that some leaves are going to start moving. So I'm going to expand my timeline end frame by like 500 or something and then if I wait and if I look at the leaves you can see they start moving on the right side and then the left ones are gonna stay hold but they're gonna start moving as well so it kind of has like this domino effect which is weird which we don't really want so what we want is when we play our animation we want everything to start moving with the wind as it would move in real life not like this domino effect it looks weird we don't want that so the way we can fix that is pretty easy so if we go down and expand the time option which is in the middle between start and texture if you expand time you have this offset option this means that the animation starts at frame zero and it starts on the right side which is kind of weird as you can see but the way we can start the animation instantly is change the offset to something crazy for example if i click on offset and type something like minus 5000 i'm telling wave modifier i'm telling blender to start the animation like right here on frame minus 5000 so if I go on frame 0 at the beginning of my animation and I play, you can see it's already going to start on all leaves. Not only on the right side and not like a domino effect, but it's going to start on every leaf basically. And if I do this on grass and other types of vegetation, it's going to do the same thing. But we have one problem. It looks kind of crazy. It doesn't look more natural. So what we can do is mess around with a few settings. And I already messed around and I'm going to tell you the best settings you used, but feel free to customize it further. So first thing I like to do is uh, check this along normals and it's going to move the leaves along normals as well. Basically on more directions than it would move without this. It's only moving in like one direction which looks robotic. But if I enable along normals it looks better but obviously it's not the final finished product. So we can customize this even further. So what I like to do is change the height. By default the height is 0.5 but what I like to do is click on this and set this to something like 0.07. Now you can also slide this around. But I find that typing 0.07 and just setting it up is a lot easier. So obviously you can see that it's starting to look a lot better. And we can mess around with a few settings as well. And what I like to do is set the narrowness to something like 1. And also we can mess around with the speed. Now speed by 0.25 is fine. Uh, and I'm going to show you what it does. If you turn this up it's going to go a lot faster. If you turn this down it's going to go slow. And it's actually going to stop if you turn this down on a certain threshold. But what I like to do is change the speed to something like... 0.09 and then if you change it to 0.09 you can see it looks very nice it flows smoothly but if you want to make this faster you can click on shift left click and drag to drag on like smaller increments and you can customize this uh, as long as you want so i'm going to leave this at 0.09 because i like the way it looks and if we want to apply this uh, modifier to other types of vegetation for example i have grass and flowers here i don't have to do it manually so what I can do to apply these, this modifier to every other vegetation is select everything. So first select the grass, then I'm going to shift and select the flowers. For example, I have two types of flowers over here. So shift select this, shift select this, 
and the way you can check if you have something left off is just press on G, move this up, and then right click to not confirm the movement. So again, I'm going to move this up. So as you can see, I have to select the leaves here, or oak leaves and birch leaves as well. And now I'm going to look through my scene and see if I have anything else left to select. And once you select everything, you're going to shift and left click select the leaves with where we added the modifier. So make sure you select the, the leaves last. Uh, and if you selected them last, they're going to have the yellow outline. And the rest of the objects are going to have the dark orange outline. So if this, if this has a yellow outline, it means it's an active object. So once we made our original leaves an active object, what we can do is click on Control L and then go down and then click on Copy Modifiers. And this is going to apply the Wave Modifier with the same settings to everything else we selected. So now if I play my animation, you can see this wind effect is going to be applied to the grass. It's going to be applied to other types of leaves as well. And it's going to be applied to the flowers as well. So as you can see, everything else is moving around with the wind. And it looks really nice. And also, the best thing is that it's kind of laggy, but it's not as laggy as the previous method that I showed you. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. As you can see, adding the wind effect uh, to your animation is pretty easy. There are a lot of methods to do it. And thanks to this comment once again by CLab3D, who suggested me to use the wave modifier. It looks really good. It works very well. It's fast. It's efficient. And it also saves you a lot of time. So if you're new here, I upload the Blender and Minecraft animation tutorials every week. And I also upload some of my original Minecraft animations as well. So if you're interested to see that type of content, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. Now, if you want to learn how to create the animation library to save some time in the future and then drag and drop the animations and reuse them, then you can watch this detailed tutorial on the screen. And I will see you there. Thank you for watching.